Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning and happy new year to everyone. It's just another day that the Lord had kept us. That's what the old folks used to say. It's just another day that the Lord had kept us. He had kept us from all evil. And this morning, I pray that your mind is stayed on Jesus. Amen. As we gather here this morning to worship him. Amen. I am so grateful that God has allowed us to come together one more time. Uh, it is worship time. It's worship time. It is worship time. Consecrate us now to that service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let our souls look up with a steadfast hope and our will be lost and die. Will somebody give God praise in this house this morning? Come on and bless it. Hallelujah. 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 Certainly, certainly it is to our Christ and our Lord we give honor this morning. I'm giving praise, First Lady Worley, and the love of my life, amen, to all preachers, Reverend Madonna, Reverend Robertson, and another preacher that might be present, amen, to the officers and the members, those of you that have joined us by social media, and we're so glad to have you join us this morning in this new year. Amen. Amen. It is a testimony that God's been good to us. Uh, down through the years, God has been good to us. Amen. So we ought not mind this morning coming into this house and giving God some glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we invite you this morning. We invite you. Amen. We invite you to come on and just give God praise. Let God have his way. Amen, amen, amen. So as we began to worship this morning, we ask that you would stand, amen, all over this building. Thanks be to God. Let us go to God in prayer. Jesus. Jesus. How awesome is your name. Jesus. Jesus, the sweetest name I know. God, we'll come this morning and to this place that we might worship you today. God, we're so grateful just for another chance to come and lift up your holy name, uh, to come and magnify you because, God, there's none like you. You're greater than great. You're the best thing that we know. So God, we come to worship you. Jesus. Jesus. How awesome is your name. And God, we just want to praise you. It was you, God, that woke us up early this morning. And allowed us to sit up on the side of the bed and put our feet on the floor. Yeah. And God, you allowed us to close ourselves. And, and you allowed us to come and travel down the road. Yeah. And so, God, here we are in this place of worship. Uh, God, and we are just come to lift your name. Uh, what an awesome God. Yeah. We bless you, O oh God. Yeah. We magnify you, O oh God. Yeah. We give you glory. And God, as we are assembled here in this house, God, we invoke your presence. And God, we know that you're here because I can feel you right now. And God, we just say thank you. Have thine own way. God, do what you want to do. God, for we just come to worship you. Oh, God, we pray that your anointing will fall fresh on us. Fall in this choir, fall in this pulpit, and all out through the pews. Let your anointing fall fresh. Oh, God, that your deliverance will be in this place. That your healing will be in this place. That your joy will be in this place. And most of all, God, that your salvation will be in this place. So, God, we say thank you. 
we praise you and we glorify you. We magnify you. Oh, God, we give you glory. So have your way today. God, for we know that if you have your way, God, we can't leave here the same way that we came. So, God, we give you glory now. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Blessed Holy Ghost. Bless your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we begin and continue to worship this morning, we invite you to join in with this choir. Amen. Hymn number 433 in your hymnal. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Let us sing and give God glory this morning. Hymn number 433 in your hymnals. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. continue to worship this morning. We should have our scripture read by Deacon Prince Worley Sr. and our prayer by Deacon Roy Robertson to come at this time.
like to give honor to my Lord and Jesus Savior on this morning, Pastor, and every one of you. Again, I say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Our scripture going to be coming from the book of Mark, 13th chapter, beginning at the 32nd verse through the 37th. Chapter 13, Mark the 13th chapter, beginning at the 32nd verse. And it reads, But of that day and honor no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, not a son, but only the Father. Take heed, watch, and pray, for you do not know when the time is. It is like a man going to a far country who left his house and gave authority to his servant, and to each his work, and commanded the doorkeeper to watch. Watch, therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming. In the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning, least coming suddenly, he finds you sleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. May they be a blessing of hand of God's living word. Amen. Amen. First game of honor, God has had my life. Passed on this morning. All the uh, first lady, all the ministers, and all the deacons. You can let them come on in for, 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 for prayer. For, for we, we all need prayer on this morning. Truly, you know, even Roy needs some prayer on this morning. You know, truly, God's been good to us, and we thank God for another new year. Amen. And y'all just pray for, uh, for us and pray with us as we. You know, sent up some Tim on this morning. But truly, it's all about him and not about us. Yes. Our Father, which are in heaven, once again, Father God, we come just as meek and humble as we know how. Amen. First, Father God, we come to say thank you. Thank you Lord. We thank you, Father God, how you touched us early this morning. And Father God, you allow us to see a brand new day. Yes. Another yes. day that we never seen before. Yes. And we just want to take our time and say thank you. Yes. Then, Father God, we just ask you to forgive us all our iniquities on this morning for whatever might have been, Father God. Realize that can't nobody do us like you. And we just want to take our time and say thank you, Father. Then, Father God, we know you're already here on this morning, but Father God, we just ask you to send out a fresh anointing on first new life. Not only first new life, Father God, but the church families all over the world. Father God, we just ask you to build us up on every leaning side. Yes, then, Father God, uh, we just ask you to go with us and stand by us, Father God. Because, Father God, we need you every minute. Yes. Father God, we need you every second. Yes. Father God, we need you every hour. Yes, we just want to take our time and say thank you, thank Father. You, then, Father God, we just ask you to go by the hospital a little while. Yes, Father God, we ask you to go by the rest home, the pre uh, prison in the jailhouse, Lord Jesus. Yes, let me know, Father God, all powers in your hand. Yes. Let me know, Father God, you still a hill on this morning. Yes. Let me know, Father God, you still a way maker. Yes, let me know, Father God, uh, you, you, are, you are the truth in life uh -huh. and on this morning. We just look to you for all our help. Yes. And we just want to take our time and say thank you, Father. Thank you. Then, Father God, we ask not forget about the bereaved family all over the world. Somebody's head is hanging low. Yeah. Let them know, Father God, uh, you'll be that leaner post in a time of sorrow. And yes, let them know you can wipe away all the tears from their yeah. eyes. We just want to take our time and say thank you, thank Father. You, then, Father God, we ask not forget about our senior citizens on this morning. Father God, we just ask you to touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father God, somebody need to touch you on this morning. We just want to say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Then, Father God, create us a clean heart on this morning. Father God, we just ask you to renew the right spirit in us. We just want to take our time and say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Then, Father God, we just ask you to bless our pastor and his family in a mighty special way. Not only them, Father God, but the pastor and families all over the world. Yes, Father God, we just ask you to give us more power on this morning. Because, Father God, you've been good to us. Yes. And we just want to take our time and say thank you. Thank you Lord. 
Then, Father God, we thank you because we're able to stand on this morning, Father God, on these old limbs one more time. We just, and, uh, and we just thank you for our mouth to praise you on this morning. Realize it's all about you and not about us. We just want to take our time and say thank you, Father. Then, Father God, bless the songs of Zion that's going up on this morning. Bless the man that's going to bring your word on this morning. So, Father God, we need a word. We just want to take our time and say thank you, Father. Then, Father God, when we too going to last smile to wait. Lord Jesus, when our work down here is done. Father God, when this old tongue just glued the root of our mouth. Lord Jesus, we just ask you for a resting place somewhere around our throne. All these blessings ask your name, Father God, that your will be done. Not our will, but your will be done. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Certainly, we thank Deacon Worley for our scripture and Deacon Robinson for their heartfelt prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, most of all, we thank God for you on this morning and, uh, that you are here in this place. Amen, amen, where we can worship him. Amen, amen. And we ought to praise him this morning. Amen. Because he, he brought us through 365 days of 2002, amen, amen, that's enough to praise him because the Bible lets us know that life is like a vapor, uh, any moment you could be out of here, so any second you could be gone, but 365 days, and I did not, dare not try to count up the seconds. Amen, amen. But when we can think about that and uh, think about every breath we breathe could be our last. Amen. We ought to spend some time giving God praise. Y'all hear me? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Ah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Because I, I, I can imagine there's some folk that wish they could be here today. Amen. But they're not here. Amen. 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 And some folk are going on. But guess what? God has kept us. Amen. Amen. And that's enough to praise him for. Amen. It's not of our goodness that we're here. Amen. Amen. But it's just the mercy and the grace of God. Amen. 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 Come on, give him praise. Amen. 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 I, I was telling my wife and I, I was sharing it with Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I was telling my wife and I was sharing with Brother Smith and Sister Smith on uh, yesterday, amen, uh, how one day last week I was simply at a gas station. I was pumping some gas in uh, the company truck. And I looked down and I saw some trash and I picked up the trash, uh, such a card, and I was going to put it in the trash can. But between the trash can and myself, I had the hose running to the truck. And so I went to step over the hose. You know, I'm still young. I stepped over the hose to put the trash in the truck. And the other feet didn't want to come. It, the shoe caught hold of the hose. And I went tumbling. Amen. But it's so the Lord allowed me to stick out my arm. And I braced myself. I, got, I think it was against a steel post, and it kind of bruised my arm. But I told them I thank God because it could have been my head. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We got, we, got, we got to realize that God keeps us. Yeah. Amen. Day by day. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And if it had not been, yeah. the Lord on my side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I, I can testify this morning that God has been good to me. Amen. Amen. And I thank God. I thank God he has kept us. Amen. Thank God for my family and how he's yet keeping us. Amen. Amen. Y'all continue to pray for us. Amen. The choir is getting ready to sing now. We ask that you join in with this choir. Amen. And let's give God some glory. Amen. Stand quiet. There is power. So much power. You know there's power in the name of, in the name of Jesus power. So much power. You know there's power in the name. Help me say there's power. Come on. So much power. You know there's power in the name of, in the name of Jesus power so much you know there's power in his name listen listen a man came to Jesus said Lord I want to be healed my body's all filled with sores said Lord I, I, I want to live Jesus reached out and touched him and all of his sores went away and just like to heal that man one day, he'll take your sickness away. I tell you, there's power, so much power. You know there's power in the name of, in the name of Jesus. Power, so much power. You know there's power in his name. So much power, you know there's power in the name of Jesus power. So much power, you know there's power. Listen, listen, listen now. Now if you really know that the Lord has brought you through, you ought to stand and tell the world that I am a witness to. You ought to stand and tell them, tell them you have no doubt. Through all your troubles and trials, did what Jesus you brought you out. He brought you with power, so much power. You know there's power in the name of, in the name of Jesus power. So much power, you know there's power in his name. Jesus. 
Sound like somebody believed that this morning. Amen. They've experienced the power of Jesus in their lives. Amen. Amen. Certainly we are grateful to God for uh, this day. And again, we greet you in Jesus' joy. Uh, just a few things and uh, we're going to go and get out the way. Amen. I know somebody uh, got their collard greens and black eyed peas and, and all that on. So uh, we are not going to worry your patience long this morning, but uh, uh, we're here to worship an awesome God. Amen. Amen. And I am so grateful. Amen. Uh, just want to say that uh, we ask that you take note of the uh, announcements uh, on your handout that we might be uh, able to participate in the worship services that we have going and other things that we have going on here at First New Light. Um, want to uh, thank you for your prayers and all that you're doing. Uh, here, amen. Uh, thank God for you. Thank God for your family. Amen. God has certainly been good to us. Amen. Uh, so uh, we owe God a praise. Amen. Uh, we are so grateful again to see Brother and Sister Jones. Amen. Uh, they have been frequent with us uh, here at First New Light. Thank you all for joining us again and being a part of us. Amen. We praise God for you, and we pray today that there's something said or done that will encourage you to come again. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Uh, our uh, mail course will be rehearsing on Thursday night. Uh, they are still seeking men, amen, to join them in this ministry. So if you uh, um, you know, want to get involved and uh, get excited about doing something, join this mail course. Amen. That uh, you can help lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We need me and Brother Dale. And amen. Brother Scotty. And amen. We need, we need men. Amen. Brother Roosevelt. <laughs> we need men. Amen. So come on and, and join us. Amen. Brother Quinn. We need men. Amen. They don't mind opening up their mouth. Amen. And giving God some praise. Amen. I uh, want to also acknowledge that on the uh, fourth Sunday in this month, we are invited to go over and to share with the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church on Great March Church Road in the installation service of their pastor, uh, Pastor Amanda Pone. Amen. And so we're going to ask that you come. We're asking uh, the choirs to combine. Amen. And that service that we go over and share with them uh, from the Word of God. Now, on the 3rd of May, the third weekend in May, again, I want to Bring this before you, third weekend in May. Uh, I know it's a few months down the road, but we want to go ahead and get prepared if we are going to be uh, going. Uh, we are invited to go to Washington, D.C. to uh, take part in a homecoming celebration there for the New Birth Outreach Church. Uh, and we are asking in advance. Uh, so that we'll know who is going, so we'll know how to prepare, amen, we can get with uh, Sister Robinson, and uh, maybe she can get us a bus, amen, uh, and, uh, you know, we have everything ready, and I'm hoping that on that weekend, we can, uh, uh, beside going to worship, that on the way up, we can do something together, amen, to make it a, uh, a, a great weekend of just being together. Uh, so that is the third weekend in May of this year. And what, what I need you to do, I need you to start signing up now. Amen. By the end of February, we need to start signing up because uh, we're going to have to get together and uh, make reservations for rooms and, and all that kind of stuff. So we need to know if you're going. Amen. Uh, Sister Betty, you do that on us of getting those names. 
Amen. See Sister Betty Council. Starting today. If you're going, if you're going, see Sister Betty because uh, if your name is on the list in February, that means that you decide that you don't want to go or can't go with us. Amen. But please, ma'am, please, sir, uh, so that we can go ahead and, and make preparation. Amen. That everyone can go. That want to go. Amen. Amen. That's the third weekend in May. Uh, we're praying that we can go and have a good time. Amen. Um, I want to continue to encourage you to come to our Bible study. Uh, our Bible study is exciting time in the Word of God. Amen. Uh, Reverend Robinson have been doing an outstanding job on the book of Second Peter. Amen. Uh, Reverend McDonald did an awesome job on the book of First Peter. Amen. Amen. And, and we've just been having an awesome time of sharing. Amen. And, and talking together. So we invite you to come. I know some of you still uh, uh, joining us on uh, the conference call, and, and we appreciate that. That's good. Uh, but most of the time when you're on conference call, if you have a comment, we don't hear it. Uh, if you have something to share, we don't hear it. So we want to invite you to come and come on in the house and be a part of our Bible study. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, and I do know, I do know, because I heard this morning that uh, COVID's still around. Matter of fact, they said there's a new strand. I don't know how many strands we're going to get, but there's a new strand. Amen. Amen. But guess what, y'all? We serve a God. Amen. 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 And, and the word tells that no weapon form shall prosper. Amen. We serve a God. Amen. Amen. That can blot it out. Amen. So we thank God for you. And I ask you that whatever you feel comfortable, amen, and, and, and doing, doing this season, whether you wear your mask or whatever, do so. Amen. Amen. Because all we want to do is just worship and praise our God. Amen. Amen. God bless you again. And again, Happy New Year to you. Amen. And may heaven continue to smile upon you. Do pray for our sick and our shut in. Amen. Amen. Pray for them. Pray for our seniors. Amen. I, I had the opportunity to stop by uh, Sister Mother Crawford the other day. I was over in the area, so I couldn't be over there and not go by. Amen. But she is doing awesome. Amen. She's sitting up in the chair, sitting up in the chair when I walked up on the floor taking a nap. Amen. But she looks wonderful. She, 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 she is doing good. Amen. God bless you. May heaven continue to smile upon you. Amen. The choir's getting ready to sing. After the choir finish singing, we come back. Oh, birthday's and anniversary. I'm sorry. Thank you, Deacon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we don't want to miss helping our children. And we don't want to miss out on you sharing with us. Amen. Your special days. Amen. Amen. So as we do on every first Sunday in the month birthdays and anniversaries. If you have a birthday or anniversary during the month of January, will you stand and share that with us? Amen. Birthdays and anniversaries. Yasmin, thank you. Brother Robinson, thank you. Brother Moore, thank you. Valerie, amen. 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 Now y'all y'all now y'all standing. We know that. Normally we, you know, give to the recipients, but we asking y'all to give. Amen. If you give today, God going to bless you and he going to replenish what you give out today. Amen. So this is to help our children that are going off to school. Uh, Yadman, assume me, going off, that's going off to school. Amen. We we'll want to help them as they continue to further their education. So we do that by giving them to our scholarship fund. So we ask that you give today. Adults, $5. Children, $2. We below $18, $2. So please give. Amen. We're going to start with you, Sister Valerie. Amen. Amen. Had to think about it. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Brother Leo. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Reverend Robertson. Amen. Praise God. 
Praise God. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much for your giving. And we pray that God will continue to bless you, amen, and keep you, amen. And we just want to say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, everybody, happy birthday to you. God bless you and pray that you have many, many more birthdays and anniversaries, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. At this time, the choir is going to sing. After the choir finishes singing, we're going to come back and share the word of God today. Amen. Sing choir. Said I'll go if I have to go by my hand. Said I'll go if I have to go. By my have to go. By my Lord, if my father, if my mother, if my sister, or my brother, said I'll go. Said I'll sing if I have to sing by my have to sing by myself. Said I'll sing, Lord, if I have to sing by my have to sing by myself. Lord, if my father won't sing, if my mother don't sing, if my sister or my brother. Said I'll sing, I'll sing if I have to sing by myself. Said I'll pray if I have to pray by my have to pray by myself. Said I'll pray if I have to pray by my. My sister or oh, my brother no said I'll pray
bow your heads and pray with me this morning. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you now for this opportunity that you have given to us that we might stand here before your people. God, we have searched your word, but we need your help. God, we have studied, but we need your power. Speak, Lord, that we might hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Have thine own way. But God, for if you have your way, then we know that everything will turn out all right. Yes. Uh, God, we pray now that Obi will sit down and that you will stand up. All of you and less of me. We need a word from you. But well, we don't hear from you. We don't know what to do. So, Lord, help us today. Oh, God, that we might give you glory, give you honor, and give you praise. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to look with me this morning in the New Testament, the Gospel of John, chapter 4. Verses 34 through 35. We're going to ask that you stand. So we may reverence the word of God this morning. John chapter 4, verses 34 through 35. And Acts chapter 2, verse number 8. John the fourth chapter. Verse 34 through 35, Acts, the second chapter, verse number 8. When you found it, say amen. John, the fourth chapter, verse 34, you find written there, Jesus said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Say not ye there are yet four months and then come his harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields for they are white already for harvest. Acts 2 and 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and unto the uttermost parts of the world. Amen. I want to talk this morning from the thought, looking at that 35th verse, be part. I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white, all ready to harvest. I want to talk this morning from the thought, brand new opportunities. Brand new opportunities. And our subtopic this morning is, you can't do this work unless he's working in you. Brand new opportunities. My brothers and sisters, in the year 2022, I think it would be fair to say that all of us have experienced some disappointments. We have had some letdowns. We have had some heartaches. We have had some sickness and some pain. Uh, but through it all, my brothers and sisters, I believe that in the midst of all that, God had given us some opportunities. And I believe that in the midst of that, we may have missed out on some opportunities that the Lord had opened unto us. Uh, Deuteronomy 
the 28th chapter, 12th verse, the Bible said, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the works of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. My brothers and sisters, every day we get up, Christ gives us new opportunities. Uh, he gives us the opportunity to be a witness for him. Uh, in this fourth chapter of John, Jesus meets a woman at a well. And after her encounter with him, she takes the opportunity given to her and she runs into the city and she's shouting, come see a man. It is so often, my brothers and sisters, we miss out on the opportunity that God gives us because instead of seizing the opportunity given us, we chose to do things our own way. Uh, after Jesus had ministered to this Samaritan woman at Jacob's well, she went running in the town. Uh, the town people heard her incredible testimony of salvation, and they began to come out of the city in droves just to investigate her claim about this man named Jesus. As she continued to shout, come see a man. She was given an opportunity, y'all, yeah. and she took advantage of it. Yeah. Meanwhile, the disciples who were with Jesus, they were uh, coming back from going to get something to eat, and they were concerned about Jesus' physical state. They were thinking that he must be tired and hungry, and however, Jesus lets them know that fulfilling the will of his father was more filling than physical food. Because his mission was to do the will of his father. My brothers and sisters, that God opened to us in this new year, these new opportunities. Our mission and our goal should be to fulfill the will of God. So he says to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me. God often gives us opportunity to do his will. But what is our greatest desire? As God gives us new opportunities, like the disciples, do we strive to fulfill the desires of the flesh? Or do we have the mind of Christ, and that is to do his Father's will? Philippians 2 and 5, Paul admonishes us and encourages us to let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. My brothers and sisters, we can not do this work that God had called us to do unless we allow Christ to work in us. Can I get a witness this morning? John 14, 23, Jesus said, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and he will come unto him and make our abode with him. John 15 and 4, Jesus said this. He said, abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I come to the conclusion, my brothers and sisters, that a lot of folk, instead of abiding in the vine, they're trying to do things their own way. Can I get a witness? But if we abide in him, and let him abide in us, then we can do great things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we cannot do what he has called us to do unless we allow him to begin working in us. Psalm 91 and 1, the psalmist declared that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. My brothers and sisters, I don't care how much you know and how many degrees you might have. And God gives us the new opportunity to serve him. We cannot do it unless he's working in us. Can I get a witness? 
Psalm 121, 1 and 2, the sermon said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I come to tell you this morning, I can do nothing without God. Amen. Amen. I need Jesus just to tie my shoes. I need Jesus just to share a word with you. I need Jesus to help me through the day. I heard the hymn writer say, without God, I could do nothing. Without God, I would fail. Without him, my life would be drifting like a ship without a sail. So here in our text, Jesus compares the harvest to the kingdom of God. The harvest is a common biblical theme throughout the Bible. In Isaiah 27 and 12, the Bible says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall be off from the channels of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and he shall be gathered one by one. It's harvest time, y'all. Joel 3 and 13. The Bible said, but ye in the sickle. Y'all know what a sickle is? The sickle is that sharp thing that they used to have back in the day. They had a hook on it and it was sharp and they would go down and cut the weed. Because when harvest time come, they would use the sickle to uh, cut down the weed. Can I get a witness? He said, but put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full, the back overflows, for the wickedness is great. In this world that we live in, we are living in a time of wickedness. Yeah. Amen. People are hating people. People are killing people. and All kinds of stuff is going on in this wicked world that we live in. But the harvest is white and it's ready for harvest. Amen. But we need people that are, go, are willing to go into the vineyard to do the work that God has given us to do. And today he has given us new opportunities. Can I get a witness? Matthew 7 and 16. Jesus said, you shall know them by the fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? In Revelation 14 14 through 15, John wrote this, And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one set like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in the sickle. And reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. I stopped by to tell you this morning that we have a harvest to reap. And we need to go forth and tell dying men and women that the Son of God is soon to come. You need to repent of your sins and be saved. God gives us opportunities. He gives us opportunities on our job. Yeah. Gives us opportunities in our homes. Yeah. He gives us opportunities as we go out into the street. Yeah. And we ought to tell the good news of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let somebody know that he died uh, that they might live. Uh, can I get a witness of him? God has given us new opportunities. There are many souls that need to be added to the kingdom. And the time of harvest is right now. Many folk are still asking the question, what must I do to be saved? The time of harvest is right now. Gun violence is everywhere. The time of harvest is right now. While the enemy is busy confusing the mind of our children about what gender they are and why our government is condoning same-sex marriages, while racism is still running rapid in our nation. The time of harvest is right now, and God has given us 
a new opportunity in this year of 2023. I wish I had a witness in here. Every opportunity that God gives us, we ought to seize that moment and give glory to the name of Jesus. The fields are all right and ready for harvest, and it's a new opportunity. But we cannot do this work unless God is working in us. Can I get a witness? My brothers and sisters, people don't love like they used to. Preachers don't preach like they used to. Because many are preaching a watered-down gospel. But the Bible said you ought to repent and be saved. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. But if you live right, the gift of God is eternal life. So the time of harvest is right now. Saints don't want to tarry like they used to. We just want to come and give God a quickie and go on back to the house. Can I get a witness? But I remember the time when the old saints, when they had the morning bench, when they had real revival. And the children had to come down and sit on the morning bench. And the old folks used to get around the children. And they used to pray and tarry. And they would tell you to call on the name of Jesus. But we don't do that anymore. But the day God has given us a new opportunity to tell somebody uh, that you need to be saved. Uh, to tell somebody that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. To tell somebody, if you give your life to the Lord, he will work out all things for you. Can I get a witness here? Every day God gives us a brand new opportunity to be a witness. But many of us, y'all, are ashamed to share our testimony. We know where God brought us from. We know what God delivered us from. But we are ashamed to share our testimony. If you don't share your testimony, then don't nobody really know what God has done in your life. Amen. Can I get a witness? Many of us are afraid to share our testimony, and we are ashamed of our testimony. But don't you know if it had not been the Lord on your side? Why most of us were smoking crack and joking and hanging out at the nightclub. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Why some of us were sleeping around and doing all kind of foolish things. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. While we was running down our neighbors and stabbing our neighbors in the back. This morning my brothers and sisters God had given us. A brand new opportunity to tell somebody, come see a man who told me everything that I've ever done. God has given us a brand new opportunity. But in order for us to do this work, we got to have God working in us. My brothers and sisters, as we enter into this new year of our Lord 2023, God had given us a new opportunity. That we might serve him, obey him, love him, and live for him. We are reminded in Lamentation 3, 22 and 23, where the Bible said it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because his compassion fails not. And I'm reminded this morning that, uh, that they are new every morning. Bible says, great is his faithfulness. We serve a faithful God. And this morning he has given us a brand new opportunity to share with somebody the good news of Jesus Christ. So this morning as I prepare to go to my seat, my brothers and sisters, God had given to all of us a new chance to worship him, to lift up his holy name. God had given us this new opportunity to throw up our hands 
and tell him thank you for being a good God. Thank you for bringing me over. Thank you for another day of praise. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for keeping me in the midnight hour. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Can I get a witness? Uh, it was you, God, uh, that brought us through many dangers, toss, and snares. It was you, God, uh, that watched over us all night long. Uh, it was you, God, uh, who touched us early this morning uh, and clothed us in our right mind. Uh, and God, today we thank you for a new opportunity to give you praise. Uh, I heard David say, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises will continually be in my mouth. God gives us new opportunities. So good morning, First New Life. Happy New Year. And may God bless you real good. But you ought to seize the opportunity to give God glory. God has given us another chance to prepare for his coming. We ought to seize the opportunity to tell God thank you. For the Bible declared that he shall descend from heaven with a shout. Every eye going to see him, brother, amen. Every tongue, Reverend Donald, got to confess that he is the Lord. Every knee, whether you do it now or do it later, every knee has got to bow. Can I get a witness in here? So while we have this wonderful opportunity, we ought to serve the Lord. Make the best of every moment. I don't know what 2023 holds for any of us. The day might be my last day, I don't know. But I do know who holds my future. His name is Jesus. Uh, somebody called him Mary's baby. But I read in his word where Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I am the living water. I am the bread of life. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I am uh, Alpha and Omega. I am uh, everything that you need. Can I get a witness in here? I am uh, your help when things ain't going right. Uh, I am your bread when you're hungry. Do anybody know him this morning? Uh, I'm so glad that he walks with me and he talks with me. And every now and then he'll whisper in my ear and let me know that I am uh, his own. And the joy I share as he tarried there, none other had ever known. I'm glad this morning for this new opportunity to give God glory. We ought to seize the moment because it's a new opportunity. As you go to your job on tomorrow, God giving us a new opportunity. Even if it's a rough day, God's giving us a new opportunity. Even if you don't feel good, God's giving us a new opportunity. So let us take time as God gives us these blessed opportunities to seize the moment. Tell our children. Tell our neighbor. Tell our co-workers. Tell that man on the corner that Jesus is alive and well. And if you give your life to him, God will take care of you. So this morning in 2023, my brother and sister, God has given us a new opportunity. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. It's the greatest opportunity that you will ever get. And it's so often we neglect to seize the opportunity. But tell somebody, in 2023, show somebody in 2024.
23. The love of Jesus. Show somebody by reaching out to somebody. Show that drug addict that God loves him. Don't shun him, but show him that God loves him. Show that wayward boy or girl that God loves them. Seize the opportunity to win a soul for Christ. And we can begin, y'all, in our own families. That's the first place we ought to start. Share the love of Jesus. Begin in your own family. And let us begin with each other as we seize the opportunity to show the love of Jesus. Let us stop talking about each other. Running each other down. But let the devil know that he is a liar. Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. So as God gives you this opportunity, see this opportunity. It might not feel good. But sometimes he gives us opportunities that don't feel good, don't feel right. But get out of yourself and let him get in you. And if you let him get in you and do the work, then God will make a difference. God bless you this morning. May heaven smile upon you. And may God keep you in his care. Will you stand all over this building? Seize the opportunity. Today, as we finish this message, God, again, he gives us opportunities that we might know him that we might share him with others. And today, as we're standing all over this building, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, God has given you another opportunity. I don't care how long you've been coming to church. You may have even been singing on the choir. Like, like Pastor uh, Sammy Richardson said last night, there was a time when I was in church singing on the choir. Ushering at the door, but I didn't have Jesus. There's a lot of folk that's still in that same shape today. But Jesus today is wanting to give you a great opportunity that you would know him personally as the God of your life. And if you're here today and you don't have that relationship, I extend to you. The invitation and the opportunity to know who Jesus is. Will there be one? Will there be one? If they are, will you come now that we might pray with you? Will there be one? If not, there might be someone that's watching us by YouTube. You're sitting in your living room all by yourself. And you saying, well, preacher, I need God in my life. And I don't want to pass up this opportunity to have God in my life. If that's you and you're sitting there all by yourself, we want to invite you to pray with us today. Pray this prayer a repentance you know my life that God will save you right now. The Bible says that thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that God that raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So today, we invite you. Uh, will you bow your head wherever you are today? And will you pray, dear God, I need you in my life. And God, today I'm going to seize the opportunity. And I ask that you forgive me of my sins. Purge me from all my transgressions and blot out my iniquities. For God, I have sinned greatly. But I know and I believe now that you died for my sins. And that your blood covers 
my sin. God, accept that today by faith. I surrender my life to you. And God, it is my desire to live holy and live a life that is pleasing to you. So God, thank you for your son Jesus and his blood that cleanses away my sin. I surrender my life to you. And God, it's my intent to serve you the rest of my life. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer and you believe it in your heart, the day you're saved, I want to encourage you that you're not set in the same place, but that you get up from where you are and go out and find yourself a church home where the word of God is being taught, where there are people that are like-minded, that are serving God, and that will love you as a sister or brother. Uh, to God be the glory. You know my life and thank God for his salvation. As we continue to worship, we're going to ask the deacon that they will come. You know my life as we prepare for the Lord's Supper, deacon, if you come and prepare the Lord's you table, my life is, is in God's you may be seated. So let me tell you that you can't make me doubt him because I know too much about him. You know my life is, is in God's hand. Is in his hand. Amen. To God be the glory as we continue to worship today. Amen. This is a part of our worship um, because Jesus, before he went away, he had a Passover meal with the disciples. And as he shared with them, he informed them that he had to go away and that as they said that the meal that he was going to be betrayed. And they asked him, Lord, is it I? Jesus told them that the one who dips hammer me in the cup would be the one to betray me. Well, today as we sit at the Lord's table, let us not betray our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, let a man examine himself. Amen. That he may eat of that cup, eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Amen. So we ask now that you do a self-examination. If you find that there's something that will hinder you from eating this bread and drinking of this cup, amen, uh, you can talk to God right now, amen, amen, you can talk to him about that right now, that you won't betray him, amen, but that you will sit and dine with him, amen, and uh, First Corinthians, the 11th chapter, beginning at verse number 23. It reads, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup, when he is supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But... Let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. 
But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together into condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Thus in the reading of God's word, we pray today that God will bless you as hears of his word. Amen. And not only as hears of his word, but as doers of his word. We're going to ask Deacon Mitchell if you come and bless the Lord's table. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yes, God. Mm-hmm. Amen. God, I'm blessed by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The body and blood. Body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
So today we are reminded of the commandment of Christ. That is, often as we eat this bread and drink of this cup, we do show and remember his death until he comes. So, as he sat with his disciples, he took bread and gave it to them, and they break it. He said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Let us eat together. And likewise, when he had supped from the cup, he said, this is my blood, which is shed for the remission of your sins. He said, let us drink together. Let us drink. The Bible teaches us that without the shedding of blood, there will be no remission for sin. Jesus paid a price, a debt that he did not owe. And we had a price that we could not pay. But Jesus paid it all. He paid it all for our sins. That we might have a right to the tree of life. And when he paid the price, it covered all of it. Sins you did yesterday, sins you might do today, and sins you might do in the future. But that don't give us a license to sin. But God paid it all. And because he paid it all, we don't have to die and go to hell. To God be the glory. There's a fountain filled with blood that flows from Emmanuel's vein. Sinners are still plunging beneath that flood. It's the only thing that loose our guilt and stain. God bless you on this morning, and may heaven smile upon you. May God keep you in his care. Will you stand all over this building? As we look to the Lord and receive the benediction, again, as we Prepare to leave from this place. We ask that we exit from the right. There we would deposit our tithe and offering. Give as God had given to you. You can't beat God giving. Amen. The more you give, the more he gives to you. God bless you and God keep you in this care. Again, happy new year. Amen. Love you all with the love of Christ. Let us continue to serve him. Amen. That he will get the glory out of our lives. Let us look to the Lord. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may it rest rule and abide with us in forth now and forevermore until we shall meet again. This we pray in Jesus' name. And the church say amen, 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 amen. and amen. 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 Greet somebody. Greet somebody. One, eight, joy. Leave.